Let's take a last second trip to Disney World. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max. Hello from my childhood bedroom. Yes, here in New York. Um, I'm here uh, helping out my family with some things. And uh, I was just thinking, you know, I'm already on the East Coast. It's such a quick hop down to Florida. So let's do this. Let's go to Disney World for a couple of days. And so this was all very last second. And I have not really had the time to look into things. And I thought this was the perfect time to actually utilize a travel agent and have the travel agent just plan my Disney hotel. You know, I'm usually the one looking up everything and figuring out all the pricing and, and all that. And I just knew I didn't have enough time to, to do it this time. So I worked with Dreamers Do Travels on this and I worked with Jessica who was amazing. And like literally they help you book everything. Um, if you need them to book your like park tickets, your dining, they will do that. And they're constantly like looking for deals. Um, so for this, I just had her book my resort and I'm um, staying at uh, Coronado. And the amazing thing is, I was just like, hey, um, these are the dates I'm going to go. Uh, I gave her like, you know, I want to go for two nights. And then she spit back all these different options in a beautiful little uh, like thing from from Disney. It was so easy and it's free. You don't pay you don't pay them anything for this. That I thought was so neat. I, I did not know about that before. Um, I, I used her for this. So I, I, I recommend it so highly. It was such a time saver for me to get an email back with like, okay, here's your three or four options. What do you like the best? And I look at it and I was like, that one. I put the link in the description straight to Jessica so you could work with her uh, for your next Disney vacation. And something really cool is that like, they'll keep checking stuff while you're even there. Uh, that's not going to be working for me this time because it's such a quick trip. But like, Let's say I had a dining reservation that I really wanted at a certain time. They'll, they will do that for you. Pretty neat service. It's all free. Saved me a ton of time and energy. Um, so thank you, Jess. Go check them out. And uh, I got to go to um, Disney World really soon. So um, yeah, I'll see you there. Oh, hey, from Epcot. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. How's it going, guys? So, um, you've probably already seen my video from Tron, right? Yes. Um, that was, I had to do it in a, its own separate video, but I'm here. Uh, Epcot Festival of the Arts, and, uh, it's so great to be here. Uh, as you saw in the previous little segment there, I was at home on Long Island, hopped down to Tron, had the travel agent set this all up, uh, my hotel, uh, so if you want more info, as I was talking about that, um, you can look at the link in the description for Dreamers Do Travels, uh, Jessica's info, to have her book your trip. Um, I'm going to take you through a little bit today at the festival. I have to go to Thomas Kincaid for some stuff. I'm going to eat some stuff, uh, and we're going to have a great day. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited to be here. My fave. So much art to see here. I love this festival so much. Okay, um, look. I'm starving because today's been a crazy day. I flew in uh, on a 5.45 a.m. flight uh, from Long Island. I've been up since uh, 3.30. Um, <laughs> Road Tron, it's amazing. You have to go watch that video. Um, but I'm, I'm really hungry. Um, so before I go do this stuff with Thomas Kincaid, I need to try the thing I've been looking forward to trying the most. And it is... The Angry Crab. So I'm over here at Modern, or Modern, Modern, you know? And they have this Angry Crab. It's whole crab. We're gonna get it. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is the Angry Crab. He's so angry because, well, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> so this is a whole soft shell crab, man. Uh, papaya salad underneath there. there. There's a little like, Pearls there? Okay, that's cool. Uh, the foam over there is coconut lime, that's what they said. All right, let's give it a try. Like, wow. Heck yeah. When do you ever get a whole crap at Disney? This is amazing. Okay. Um, this is very exciting. Ah! Let's go!
I dipped it in the little lime foam there. We got the papaya salad underneath. I just wanna, I, I gotta try this. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> mm. Wow, that's really freaking good. Give me one of those legs. Dude, this is great. Whoa, this is great. Let me try this, um, mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna try this green papaya salad. Oh yeah. So there's like a mango, these little balls here. Balls. <laughs> or mango. Mm. The great thing with the soft shell crabs, you can eat the whole thing. You're like, you can just stick all that in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it feels so good to be here. Eating a whole freaking crab. Also, this thing's 725. It's it's a, a, a really nice size, as you can see. And 725 for this? That's a really good price because they charge 750 for the scallops. So you get two little scallops. Forget that. Eat a whole Crab. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I loved that. I mean, like, every bit of that. Also, there was some heat in there, too. You know, Disney, Disney level spice, but surprisingly, there's heat in the, in the salad. And then the mango, the sweetness. So you got sweet, salty, crunchy, spicy. That is a great way to start this festival. I'm so happy that I got that. It was number one on my list, and I was like, I gotta do it first. Let's go. I'm a very happy Max right now because of that angry crab. So many emotions, it's like inside out. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to um, Thomas Kincaid now, see my friends over there. Just gotta do something with them. I love my Thomas Kincaid friends. Uh, so I will head over there booth they're over by Italy and I'll show you some of the really neat things they've got because they released a few new things so really cool stuff all right I'm here Thomas Kincaid and one of the really neat things that you could do here is if you get a little canvas like this beautiful Mickey and Minnie in Florida one look how cute this is we've got an artist here who will sketch a character on the back Pretty cool. So Joseph Yakovetic is here and uh, he will do the sketch and I'll, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Look at Joseph here. So this is what I was talking about, getting the sketches done on the back. So this was just purchased. He's, he's sketching that right there. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. I love this guy because Mickey and Minnie in Florida and Orange oh, Bird is in it. Hi buddy. I think I showed you guys this at D23, the frozen one. Yeah, but look at the evil queen. My mom's favorite. Look at her. Oh. Wow. So here Joseph is sketching Steamboat Willie on the back of I love seeing artists at work like that because it, it, it just amazes me that that can, because uh, 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 I'm just not great at it, you know? I watch them do that, I'm like, you just did that in like two minutes, what? Hmm, <laughs> oh, the barges back there, yeah. This might be the last time I ever see them, this trip. So uh, this trip, guys, is very quick, very quick. I booked it at the last second. Um, so you'll get the Tron video from me, which you have already seen, I hope. Um, you'll get this video. Uh, Tomorrow is an Animal Kingdom day, and probably back here. And then Wednesday's like a half day and I am out. So very, very quick, but um, great to be here. <laughs> great to be here, even though I'm running on fumes. I'm gonna head over to the Encanto food area. Remember that from last year? I had the empanada and it was amazing, but I didn't get the soup, so I wanna get, I wanna get that. Here we go. So here at Vibrante and Vivido, we got the potato and chorizo empanada, the spicy ajiaco soup. This is a coconut and passion fruit smoothie. Let's go. I am so tired. 
Look at me. This is what happens when you're up since 3.45 a.m. Okay, uh, coconut and passion fruit smoothie, and you get the cup. Where is it just for the cup? Oh, it's actually really good. Um, non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic, guys. And honestly, it's not too sugary disgusting. Honestly, I like it. It's sweet. More passion fruit than coconut. Delicious. Delicious. I like this a lot. This is so impressive. So this has guajillo and arbo chili spice chicken, potato, avocado, corn, creme fraiche. Wow. Whoa, guys. This is... Wow! Oh my gosh! That, look at this! Look at this! Very spiced! I'm so interested in the spice level on this because, you know, Disney World, not too spicy usually, but let's see. Mmm! That is spicy! They were not kidding around. Wait, that's actually really spicy. <laughs> I'm glad I got the smoothie. That is no joke. That is some really flavorful chicken. And let me tell you, that is some spicy peppers they put in here, folks. That is, that is actual spice level. I'm shocked. I would never think that you would find this level of spice at Disney World. Uh, that is spicy. So much flavor. Wow, I like this. Very big portion too. There's a lot of chicken in here, a lot of potato. It's like overloaded with avocado, honestly. This is really good. I cannot believe the spice level in that soup. They call it a spicy soup and it is. Wow. Empanada time. I had this last year, so I do know what it's gonna taste like, but uh, you know, that is beautiful. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is so good. And again, they're not afraid about bringing the heat. There is a turmeric aioli on this. And another aioli, I gotta look this up. Anato aioli, A-N-N-A-T-T-O. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna Google it right now. Cause I'm a curious foodie. <laughs> Maybe that should be the name of my new show. The Curious Foodie by Mr. Cheesy Pop. Is that good or is that just me on very little sleep talking? Okay, anato is orange red condiment derived from the seeds of the Akiote tree. Look them up, they're a little red, seeds. Um, yeah. Its scent is slightly peppery with a hint of nutmeg. It's mostly used to provide color to food. Um, and it is uh, native to the tropical Americas, so makes sense. There's your lesson, I love it. We learned something new today. You're at Epcot, you should be learning, right? I love this place. I just got a moment of happiness. It's like, oh yeah, I'm here. Today's been a crazy day, so I'm just like, but yeah, I'm here. Wow! My mouth is on fire. That, 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 that is actually the spiciest thing I've ever had at Disney World. Definitely, like, Wow, I'm kinda shocked by the spice level on that. I'm not used to that at Disney World. Okay, wow. Like, my lips are burning. Up for you, baby. All right. Look how pretty it looks here. Uh, as the sun is uh, setting here, and I look tired, but I just had really spicy soup, so I'm a little awake again. Kind of. Hi guys.
Hey. Now we're on the hunt for a alcoholic beverage because believe it or not, I have not had one today. Can you believe this? I've been up for 15 hours and in Epcot and I still haven't done that. It's like six something PM. Better do that. <laughs> we stopped in uh, Cava del Tequila, of course. And I got something I've never gotten before. It's the corn old fashioned and uh, it's so good. I've never tasted an old fashioned quite like it. Mm, mm, mm. So like, as you can see here, there are so many things in this beverage. All, all the different kinds of whiskeys. <laughs> Elote liqueur, what, what? Okay, whatever it is, it's great. It's also like super strong. Like if you want an, an actual alcoholic beverage, you come here and you get a real beverage. Don't go to the festival and get their uh, watered down sugar drinks, okay? I love the festival. I mean, it's great, but I just had a beverage from the festival. I see you laughing over there. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it like it is always. <laughs> it's true. You see what they're drinking it's too. True. Yeah. We got the seasonal Negroni, which yeah. is Palo Santo. Seasonal Negroni. Very good. See, that's how you do Epcot and life. You know what's so neat in the Mexico Pavilion? You could see all these Oaxacan wood carvings. They're so cool, beautiful handmade items that you can get right here in Mexico. Mm. That, I mean, they're so neat. Wow. Whoa. Hey, it's nighttime. It's so pretty over here in America. Uh, it's time for some um, dessert. How about that? Hummingbird cake. And that is what I am going to get right now in America at the artist's table. That's what they call uh, the, the thing here. So let's go get us some hummingbird cake. Hummingbird cake is actually a banana cake. Uh, it's got pineapple, coconut, pecans, and cream cheese frosting. Um, and banana sorbet. This sounds great. All right, this is the hummingbird cake. Um, look at this. This is kind of cool. Comes with banana sorbet, too, I think. So the cake is the banana cake. Okay, a lot going on here. Cream cheese frosting, this is the sorbet. All right, let's get a little bit of everything in here and we'll just taste it. Oh, I like that. That's actually really good. Banana sorbet is really interesting. It goes great with the banana cake, go figure. I like the, uh, uh, the the pecans there. Do you say pecan or pecan? Did you just lick it? Yes. I say both. Both. Depends on what you're talking about. Pecan cake or a pecan in something? Pecan pie or well, pecans? Pecan pie. I, I, say I hear it different ways. Why, well, this is confusing me. Yep. I asked a simple question, I'm getting a more confusing <laughs> answer. It's not simple. Pecan. You say pecan? Pecan, yeah. Okay. I say pecan pie. I say it. there's pecans in the... Yeah. yeah. I say it differently every time. I was about to say, I'll get you. I don't know why. You're from the south. You should know this. You would think. Growing up, I would say pecan, probably. This is no help. I ask, I ask, I ask actual southerners for the correct way to say pecan, pecan, and I, 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 my answer, I'm... I'm more confused than ever. I've also been up now for 15 hours? 16. 16. <laughs> I like the banana cake though. No, <laughs> oh, I like this lighting. This, they, they got some good lighting here in America. Yeah. Hummingbird cake. Uh, you know, Mr. Sweet Tooth? No, but hummingbird cake is a winner. I really liked it. I've, I don't I like, ban, you know, banana bread we've all had, uh, but that's a banana cake. So I think if you like banana bread, you're gonna like that. Uh, really good, nice textures on the uh, uh, the pecans, pecans, um, whatever. <laughs> um, and banana sorbet is really interesting. Yeah, uh, that's a winner. I would say go get that here in America at the artist's table. So, uh, it's been a long day for me. 
You thought I was gonna say time to go home. No, I'm gonna go watch the uh, the Broadway uh, stuff now. You know, here at the Festival of the Arts, they have uh, Broadway performances, Disney on Broadway performances. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then I will go back to my hotel, which I have not been to yet today. <laughs> you haven't even seen it. Well, I haven't even seen it, so yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go check out Disney on Broadway now, and I will uh, talk to you during or after that. Oh, full moon? That is beautiful, huh? Wow. All right, so I'm gonna get in line here. What do we have here? So it's the 8 p.m. show that I'm gonna go see. And we got Ashley Brown and Michael James Scott. Awesome. From the musicals Mary Poppins and Aladdin. Very talented people. Mary Poppins and the Genie. Oh, it's good lighting. It is. Yeah, that helps. Not as tired looking. All right. I like it. Yeah. Disney on Broadway time. Uh, if you're ever here for the Festival of the Arts, you got to do this. Me, I do it every single day I'm here for Festival of the Arts. It's so good. You get to see the best of Broadway right here in Epcot. And I do love Broadway. So, uh, can't wait to see the show. Tale as old as time. True as you can be. Uh, finally gonna go to the hotel now, so uh, I'll see you there. I love this place so much. Uh, okay, now I will officially leave the park and get back to my room. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> what a day! Welcome, Glick family. You've made it to Coronado Springs. Excellent. Um, I'm in the Rancho's building. Okay. I got two beds. They have great artwork here. Um, I've stayed at Coronado a bunch of times. It's fantastic. Uh, I really like it a lot. And if you want to see a Coronado, better in-depth Coronado tour, you should go watch one of my videos from like last year or the year before or whatever, where I, I went more in depth about Coronado. But for now, I need to get in the shower and go to bed because I'm exhausted. But today was amazing. Um, great day, obviously. Go watch my Tron video. Definitely go watch that. Um, and just a great day at the festival. Everything I ate today was awesome. Everything. And, and we saw Disney on Broadway. Just, it's wonderful to be here. I'll see you uh, tomorrow for more fun at Walt Disney World. It's time to sleep. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.